The Nest Cam is a pretty slick piece of technology, and quite honestly, it does a lot of things you'd hope a baby monitor would do. However, there is a vital, almost critical feature missing that keeps it from being a viable, fully functional baby monitor option. So let's talk about what that feature is. Hey, this is John with Fathercraft. Thanks for joining us. You know, there's no denying that the Nest Cam comes with an enticing list of features that at first glance, make it seem like an optimal surveillance choice for your child. But before I forget, let me know in the comments if you've ever used the Nest Cam as your baby monitor and uh, let us know how that worked out for you. Also, let us know what you use now. For that matter, uh, let us know what you'd like to use. So as I was saying, it streams HD video to your smartphone or tablet via the Nest app, has night vision, has two-way audio communication, and provides a crisp, clean, high-quality audio. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, no need to watch this video any further. Uh, sign me up, this sounds amazing. Well, hold on a second there, friend. Before you go adding this to your child-rearing toolkit, hear me out. So we wanted to use the Nest Cam as a baby monitor too. And in fact, we tried to do so for a number of months to understand its benefits and its drawbacks. But there is one crucial imperative feature missing from the Nest Cam that makes an absolute no-go in terms of using it as a baby monitor. And that is background audio. All right, let's get into some background information, if you will. <laughs> So a baby monitor needs two devices, a camera with a microphone, sometimes called a child unit, and a display with a speaker, often called a parent unit. So one of the biggest selling points for all Wi-Fi monitors is that it allows you to use your smartphone or tablet as the parent unit. You also don't have to carry around an extra, oftentimes bulky parent unit like one of these, which is the display for the Infant Optics DXR8. Also, the display quality for most any smart device is going to be an order of magnitude better than these traditional parent units. So, to make your phone parent unit operational, you need to install a corresponding app that allows you to manage all of the controls and settings. But, to make that smartphone or tablet a fully operational parent unit, you need to be able to hear the audio when the app is closed. And this is crucial. So, the ability to hear the audio feed when the app is closed or not in use is called background audio. And this is arguably the most important feature that a Wi-Fi monitor can offer. If you don't have this, whenever you're uh, using another app on your phone, like say using your YouTube app to watch some pretty stellar videos, well, like this one, for instance, uh, and maybe you're even hitting the subscribe button so you'll get more super helpful videos on parenting gear from said channel, you won't be able to hear your baby. I know it's important to be able to hear me and watch me, but uh, hearing and watching your baby is far more important. So, long story short, when the Nest app is not in use, the audio feed shuts off. And this by itself should be a non-starter for any parent or parent-to-be looking for baby monitors. So to be fair, the app has the ability to send you alerts when sound is detected, uh, which is definitely useful when you're awake, but, uh, when you're sleeping, you've got to rely on your subconscious basically to hear the ding of that alert. Uh, me personally, I turn my phone on um, do not disturb. Um, so I'm not hearing anything but the background audio through my phone. So simply put, for us, the absence of a background audio feature is just uh, an absolute non-starter. All right, so you can find our full review of the Nest Cam by clicking the link below or potentially clicking the link up here. Um, in that full review, we list out other drawbacks and considerations such as connectivity issues, uh, lack of speed when connecting to the app, uh, among other things. All right, that's it. We hope you found this information useful. If you did, please consider tapping that like button or clicking it for you uh, old-fashioned, non-mobile connected users. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already while you're at it. There's this bell thing, um, and if you tap that, you get notified when we post our newest video, which we're hoping to start doing uh, more regularly. So, we appreciate it. All right, it's great chatting with you. We'll see you in the next video.